Brian Odom, inside linebacker coach. Um, thrilled to be here and be a part of uh, USC and uh, very excited for the future uh, and, and what it will, will hold for us all. I didn't hear the end of that, but to start off, Shane Lee, uh, transfer guy from uh, from Alabama. Um, in initial talks with him, you know, the thing that stuck out was leadership ability, intangibles, experience. Uh, being in that program for for three years, I mean, the way he talked and the way he carried himself uh, in the recruiting process uh, was was pretty unique, and um, it's something that I think he's going to bring a, a ton of value. Um, not only to, to the linebacker room, but uh, to our, our, our whole defense and team in general. Um, uh, but like I said, he's, he's got great experience. Um, started for, the, for them um, as a freshman. Um, had some injuries throughout the rest of his career, but he's, you know, he, he needed a change. And um, we're, we're happy to, to, to be able to provide that for him. But um, excited about his intensity, uh, like the way he carries himself. Um, you know, comes from a good family, very, very uh, focus driven dude. So excited about Shane. Yeah, I think it's 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 ongoing, you know, and, and when you come in uh, somewhere new, um, you want to try to have everybody have a uh, clean slate, and you know the mistakes possibly that were made in the past, or they're in the past. And um, you know, my biggest message to those guys that are still here um, is your actions are a lot, a lot bigger than your words. You know, and, and what you do is going to be um, very indicative of, of how the future goes. So, um, but individual assessments for, of each individual guy. Uh, well, they're fluid and they'll continue to be evaluated as we move forward. But um, we've got definitely potential in that room. But um, obviously, there's got to be a lot of uh, improvement made as well. Coach, congratulations. Yeah. Cody with mm -hmm. the radio broadcast team. Coach, when I think about linebacker play, it's usually a mentality. What's, what's kind of the mentality of each one of you guys? In, uh, well, you know, when you. That's a great point. When you bring that up, you know you want you want the linebackers to have the mentality of the person they deal with on you know quite often on a day to day basis. Uh, hopefully, they can take my mentality and um, you know I want them to be be tough, hard nosed guys that uh, they're 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 you know we we talk about we had a meeting yesterday about a psychological profile of a wannabe compared to a psychological profile of a champion. And there's a there's a laundry list of things on each one of them, but um, a lot of those uh, uh, I bring up with Shane those intangibles um, that we talk about, but also um, being a take charge guy, um, being the heart of the defense. Um, you know, whenever whenever something uh, needs to, to to happen, they need to be the catalyst in in order to make that happen. So um, it's a unique position, as we all know, um, but. With that all being said, you know that's it, it takes a little bit of development uh, to be able to get there. Thank you. Yeah. So obviously, when we when we recruit um, linebackers throughout, it could be transfer portal, it could be high school. Um, our job is to develop the best high school, I mean, the, the best linebacker room uh, in college football. And so when you when you have it and you've got the standard that's been set on, on what needs to happen, which it's been done here in the past, there's been a lot of great players that, that have, have played that position here. Um, so there's a standard to, to with, uh, uphold here at, at, at USC. Uh, having coached some great ones as, as well, you know, you got an idea of what that looks like, what it feels like, what it smells like, how they carry themselves, uh, how they practice, how they go about their communication, uh, their work ethic. 
Um, so whenever you put all that stuff in there, obviously when they walk through the door, there needs to be measurables, you know, and there's, there's instant measurables that you, they, and if they don't have the measurables, then you wouldn't recruit them anyway. Um, and what I'm talking about is not only height, weight, speed, strength, um, but intelligence. Are they a good football player? Do they, are they productive? Uh, do they, are they a multi-sport guy? Um, is their potential kind of, are they tapped out already as far as their size is concerned? You know, what's their ceiling look like? Um, because we're going to ask a lot of those linebackers to do a, a lot of different things. You know, they're going to be involved in everything up front. They'll be involved with coverage. Um, and also they've got to, I mean, like I was saying earlier, they, they've got to be really the heart and soul of the defense in terms of getting guys lined up uh, and be able to communicate out there in a high level situation. You know, and I haven't had a ton of dealings with the guys so far. You know, we're a little bit limited in what we can do with them um, this time of the year. But uh, with that being said, you know, the I guess in the positive way, the thing that have, has stuck out with me is uh, willingness to be coached. Um, that I think they do have a desire uh, to be successful. And I, you know, I'm not con completely con uh, convinced that, you know, we all know what that means, you know, just because of, uh, of, you know, of the recent season. But with that all being said, it's our job to put that standard out in front of them. Um, but um, they've done a good job in terms of, of, of that. I would like to see, you know, just in an evaluation, I'd like to see guys get obviously get a lot bigger and stronger and faster and know the defense and all that kind of stuff. But uh, initial initial thoughts and in initial observations that's kind of kind of what we see right now Hello. yeah so, how are you Yeah, it's a fine line. You know, you, you think about it's a fine line of, of what they can handle. I think it all stems from building trust early on in the relationship with the player. Um, and then from that point, you know, they've got to feel like they're being developed. And they got to feel like they're being developed to be a great football player while they're with me. And that's got to be an attraction for them that they want to get better. And they've got a commitment to get better uh, as, as a football player and as a linebacker. And they, they need to, and it's my job to make them feel this way, but they need to feel that I'm, they're getting the best linebacker coach in the country. There's nobody better, so why leave? So maybe I have to, I have to wait uh, one season to be, make the impact that I thought I was going to make, but there's no one better to develop me than my linebacker coach. So a lot of that stuff stems from trust um, that's built early on. And it, the trust works both ways, obviously from the coach and the player. Um, but as you combat that, you know, it, it, a lot of it is going to be on the shoulders of the kid as well. You know, is he willing to be able to be coached? Is he willing to, uh, to be able to go and buy in and go do it? And uh, time will tell. But um, at the end of the day, in the perfect world, you never want to have to go sign transfers. You, in a perfect world, you'd love to develop kids as they go. Um, but we all know that sometimes it didn't, didn't work out that way. But um, like I said, a lot of that is on my shoulders to be able to, to, to be the coach that they need, to develop the guys that they need, how they need to be developed, and uh, to build confidence within, within that unit. Hey, Brian, you got hey. Mm -hmm. So um, Alex and I actually GA together um, for a short time at the University of Missouri back in uh, 04, 05, I can't remember. Went our separate ways. Um, he got the Washington State uh, defense coordinator job and he hired me up there. He hired myself and, and Coach Manning. He got the Oklahoma job, hired myself and Coach Manning. Got the USC job, hired myself and Coach Manning. So there's a common thread there. There's a lot of familiarity within that room, especially with us three. Um, obviously, Coach Williams and Coach, uh, Coach Newell are going to be uh, outstanding additions that I'm excited to be able to work with. But in terms of um, my familiarity, you know, we, we see a lot of the things the same way. 
Um, you know, I'm very familiar with his scheme and how to coach it. Uh, and, and being able to sit there and talk about one word, uh, it's hard to put into words, but um, fast and physical, fast and physical. Hi. Yeah. So I'm sorry, say that one more time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think that we would ever cross off the list and say, well, we won't go back into the portal. Um, time will tell and what, what will happen. Um, and then as, as we look at the depth, you know, um, as we move forward, we'll know a lot more in spring ball, you know, as, in terms of what our depth actually is and what can be uh, and who can make an impact and who, who needs more time. Um, but with that being said, you know, it, time will tell on really on kind of both of those. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, guys.